everybody. Anthony Alfredo here. And today we have another episode of Who's Next? We'll be visiting the 11-year-old Cole Denton out of Pascagoula, Mississippi. Hey, Cole, how are you doing? Good, Mr. Anthony. I'm doing great. Well, we're grateful to have you on the show today. Appreciate your time. Uh, first off, how we get the nickname Cole? Because we know your real name is Nicholas. Well, when I was two years old, my dad had on NASCAR, and I started watching, and I loved it. And um, a few months later, I watched the movie Days of Thunder and loved the Meliella 51 and the City Chevy 46 car. And then uh, when I was four, I went to the Snowball Derby, and some people behind us told me that I could race a go-kart at four at a local track. And for Christmas, I asked Santa Claus for a go-kart. And he brought me one, and it was the Meliella 46 car. So then I'm like, well, it's the 46, it's Meliella, and Cole Trickle drives the 46. And my nickname was Nico. But a ni- another nickname for Cole, or for Nicholas, is Cole. So they've been calling me Cole Trickle ever since I started racing in the number 46 Meliella go-kart in Bandolera. Well, that's a pretty awesome story. Definitely unique. I... If we had to guess, can we? is it safe to say that Days of Thunder is your favorite movie? It's it's in the top three for sure. Okay, okay. Well, we could definitely tell. I like that polo. Uh, you're looking good with the, the Cole 46 shirt on, Mellow Yellow. You've competed in over 100 events at the age of 11. Uh, and we know about the iconic paint scheme now. So have you kept that paint scheme ever since that first go-kart that Santa Claus brought you? Yes, sir. All right. That's what I like to hear. Well, 2021 was a super busy year for you. You raced a lot. You ranked second in the national INEX bandit series in the Eastern division, uh, Mississippi state bandit champion, crisp motorsports park, bandolero track champion, Lanier speedway, INEX racing series bandit cha- champion. I'm looking at my notes here. Cause this list just goes on and on second place in furious five series at Atlanta motor speedway and a fourth place in the Thursday thunder at Atlanta. Season stats, 19 wins, 26 podiums, 36 top fives in 47 races. So there was only 10 times at 47 races you were in the top five or 11 rather. So that's pretty incredible. How does that make you feel knowing those stats and and going into 2022 now? It feels really great. Um, And this year I've actually had two races already at Atlanta Motor Speedway for previous five. And uh, I finished second and first. So it's really helping me look forward to the 2022 season. That's awesome. Well, sounds like you're off to a really great start. As you said, got the momentum rolling and, and even from last season, especially upcoming, you've got the firm this weekend. So maybe tell us about what that event is like. And we also know after that, you have the winter nationals at Citrus County Speedway. So what are your anticipations, expectations, uh, and what is the firm race? The firm is a um, 1.6 mile road course. I believe we will be doing four or five laps and um, it really hurts the bandos, but we have a lot of fun and um, I'm hoping to get some top fives in winter nationals and at the firm. Well, it seems like you're on track to do that statistically. Uh, I know you could add to that list, Uh, but who are you away from the racetrack? Let's allow people to see who Cole is when you're not racing. Um. Well, I'm doing iRacing, X-Plane 11, riding my scooter, jumping on my trampoline. And um, everyone out there, they can go follow me on Cole Nation Racing on Twitter and Facebook and go check out my website at coldentonracing.com. Well, that's really cool. I love to hear about what drivers do outside of the track, because obviously, you know, as a racer, especially up and coming through the ranks, you eat, sleep and breathe it. You have to um, just a busy schedule, a lot of racing. Um, so it's hard to fit in those things. But obviously, it, uh, it's important to uh, to have a life away from the track. And I'm always uh, interested in hearing what what uh, everybody does. I, I know for me, I have a lot of the same similarities. So we'll have to I race together sometime, especially uh, rapid fire favorites right here. So you ready for this? Yes, sir. All right. Favorite movie? Um, Rad. All right. Favorite band? Rush. Your favorite band is Rush? I was not expecting that. I got to hear more about that and, and how big into music you actually are. 
Well, I love classic rock from the late 70s and early 80s, and uh, I actually sing in my race car every time I get in it. So You uh, sing like, in your race car? Yes, sir. Uh, one time when we were at Chris Motorsports Park, I was singing Little Red Corvette when I was in the lead, and I was accidentally pressing the mic button, and my dad was just laughing, listening to me. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. That's awesome. Well, hey, it seems to be working, so keep it up. All right. Thank you. NASCAR driver? Kyle Larson. Favorite plane? Pilatus. Favorite food? Uh, pasta. Oh, I like that one. Uh, favorite track? The Firm. All righty. Well, there we go. That's uh, That was a great rapid fire moment there. I definitely, uh, I see I see how your parents are raising you well. Classic rock guy, just like me. A lot of similar interests here. But uh, let's give a moment to uh, thank your sponsors and shout out all the people who support you. I want to thank my mom and dad, my Aunt B, Bacon Racing, my grandparents, um, Race Face Advancement, Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, and Myers Construction. Well, there you have it, folks. Cole Denton, 11-year-old, working his way up through the ranks. A lot of success so far and uh, high expectations rolling into the next season and beyond. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Who's Next, and we'll see you next time.